my presents now? Of course. That's what Christmas is all about. <laughs> well, and this. Well, that and the love and goodwill to all men, Mum. Mm-hmm. And hasn't Father Christmas been generous? I would argue he's spoiled her. Mm. A, a bit. Yeah, well, he must know what a wonderful girl she is. <laughs> Did you like the picture? It's quite hard to buy for the woman who's got everything. You nailed it. Does this say Millie? Is it for me? What is it? A mistake. <laughs> well, same to you. Yes, I was going to, um... I'll be along a little later, OK? I'll see you soon. Problem? The main problem I've got is hair's been plucked out of my granddaughter's head. Pretending you were playing an innocent game, whilst all the time you... or your fancy woman, rather, was harvesting her DNA. I think that's a rather dramatic description. You knew for years. I didn't, actually. People don't forget who they slept with, Graham. People who drink heavily do. You must have known it was a possibility, at least. But you did nothing. You let my son bring her up. And you looked at her and saw this wonderful child. And you saw your own tragic life and you thought, hmm, I could make things better. Isn't a better life what we all strive for? She's my granddaughter. Have you heard me dispute that? So you're planning on giving me visitation, are you? Throwing me a bone? Well, I will throw you in the flaming river if you try something like that. She's your granddaughter. Because she is the daughter of your son. Or at least, um, she's not mine. You just said goodbye to any chance of getting my money. <laughs> oh, Kim, if only you knew how insignificant you or your money are to me anymore. I'm with a woman who, on her worst day, is worth a hundred times more than you. Well, look at it this way. Millie grows up with a wonderful father and, hey, it's Christmas, so, uh, so let's really look for the positives. Your own unborn child that you killed is better off dead than growing up with you as a parent. Oh, and uh, whatever belongings you have at the house will be bagged up and at the gate by the end of tomorrow. Then I'll never have to see you again. This hasn't been an entirely bad news day. What have you stolen? Oh, there was nothing worth taking. No, no, it's just needed a wee. <laughs> well, staff used the downstairs, Lou. You're strict. I was also joking. Ah, wee where you like. Within reason, obviously. Yeah, I wish you'd told me that before I went in the soup. <sighs> I mean, I didn't. Uh. <laughs> Push me to the kitchen. Oh, I think that's a daddy job. Push me, daddy, push me. Your Royal Highness, I'm sure you can probably do it yourself, but I will guide you. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, that's all right. <clears throat> you know, there are a number of ways I could do this, but I'll take the straight route. Jamie's the father. Of Lily. I don't know how many other kids he sired, but she's the one I'm talking about, yes. Yeah, it's Christmas. Come on, give me a break. Need some mince pies. Wait, how do you know? I saw Graham. Yeah, but how does he know? How does anyone find out these things? You do a test. Yeah, but he told you. Yes, and yes. I knew it. Well, I think this is cause. For the best Christmas ever. Absolutely. And she's won! Look at that! Oh, the crowd goes wild. Woo! Well, 
Ladies and gentlemen, may I present your dinner of a roast goose with a peppercorn and giblet gravy? What's giblet? Like it's bum and that. Not like it's bum and that. <laughs> no. With seasonal vegetables and a winter jus, and we have a chestnut and mushroom wellington. It all looks wonderful. Oh, thank you. Enjoy. How lovely. You bought a roast goose with peppercorn and giblet gravy, have you? He very kindly got Leo the same present we did. Um, should I set another place? You shall not. Seems I'm just in time. If you mean for a drink, I think you're a few ahead of us. Oh, I'm completely sober. I want to do this with a clear head. <laughs> 